Hi guys, so today I will be explaining about SAGE, that is Serial Analysis of Gene Expression. I will be uh, telling you about what is gene expression, what is the SAGE technique exactly, the steps or the procedure, the pros and cons of this uh, technique, the applications and finally a case study to give a clear picture about this technique. Before I explain what is SAGE, I would like to explain what is gene expression. So we all know gene is the functional unit of DNA and gene is what dictates our looks or our color, our hair or eye color. So how is this gene expressed? So the gene is expressed with the help of a functional protein. The genes are first transcribed into an intermediate mRNA, mRNA is messenger RNA, which, has, which is single-stranded, and then it is further expressed as a functional protein with the help of a process called as tra translation. So this is basically the layout of how the gene is expressed in our body. So now I will be so now I'll be explaining what is SAGE. So SAGE is serial analysis of gene expression and it is an experimental technique that is designed to gain direct and quantitative measure of gene expression. It is a, it is a rapid analysis process and it was invented at John Hopkins University by Dr. Victor in 1995. So, in this technique, we obtain tags which are of 10 to 14 base pairs. Base pairs are nothing but nucleotides. In DNA, it can be adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. And in RNA, it is adenine, uracil, guanine, and cytosine. So, um, a tag sequence is obtained and it contains sufficient information to identify a transcript. And these tags are then amplified and sequenced. So this result gives us an idea about the transcriptome of the sample and there are several variants that has been developed such as super sage, RL sage, long sage which enables identification of longer tag sequences that is around 21 base pairs. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to brief about the steps that are followed for this technique. The first step is where mRNA is isolated from the sample. The sample could mean the tissue which we would like to research on and then it is reverse transcribed using biotinylated primers to generate cDNA. Reverse transcription is where mRNA gives rise to a DNA. And this DNA is called a cDNA, complementary DNA. And this happens with the help of primers in which a biotin molecule is added. Our second step is where cDNA is bound to biotin, which is bound to biotin, is bound to the streptavidin microbeads. So the cDNA that is formed has biotin molecule in it. And with the help of that biotin molecule, it is bound to streptavidin microbeads. Third step is uh, cDNA, cDNA is cleaved with anchoring enzymes. So anchoring enzymes are type 2 restriction enzymes. These are enzymes which are used regularly in molecular uh, biology laboratories. And uh, these cut at a specific sequence. And thus it frees it from the beads. The cleaved DNA then is washed out and it leaves some of the DNA bound to the beads. The next step is where two oligonucleotides with sticky ends which is called as linkers they are added to the remaining truncated cDNA in separate samples. So these linkers are uh, short 
sequences oligonucleotide sequences which have sticky ends and they are added to the dna which is bound to the streptavidin molecule uh, micro so our next step is where cdna is cleaved from the beads with the help of tagging enzymes which are another kind of restriction enzymes type 2 restriction enzymes next step is uh, after that the sticky ends which are produced after cleaving it from the beads these are repaired with dna polymerase dna polymerase is an enzyme which is used in dna replication and also used for repairing uh, the sticky ends or uh, dna when there is a dna damage it helps in the repair the next step is where blunt ended tags from two separate samples are ligated together generating dye tags with two different oligonucleotide adapter ends so uh, there are the tags which are generated from different samples they are ligated together with the help of a ligase enzyme which helps it to bind and it generates dye tags so two tags which have linker molecules on its side the oligonucleotide adapter ends are nothing but linker molecules the ninth step is where dye tags are cleaved with anchoring enzymes to remove the oligonucleotides and ligate it dye tags will then form cdna chains so uh, dye tags are again cleaved with anchoring enzyme to remove the linker molecules and then they are again ligated to form a long cdna chain and these a uh, long cdna chains are then inserted into a plasmid in a bacteria for replication so we all know that bacteria they replicate very fast so when we insert this cdna chains into the bacterial plasmid it will also replicate quite quickly and uh, we also subjected to pcr technique that is polymerase chain uh, reaction where uh, it helps in further amplification of these molecules and then we isolate these uh, cdna chains from the bacteria and then we sequence it using various dna sequencers that are available thanks to the new technology and then we process this data to find out the sequence uh, to find out the sequence and to count the small sequence tags the number of sequence tags that we have obtained so over here i have given uh, there is a flow chart present over here to just uh, have an overview of all the steps so it is present in this slide it is pretty much what i have explained in the previous slides but i have just given it as a flow chart okay so what are the applications of this technique so uh, there have been many applications listed but for the sake of this uh, presentation i have listed out uh, only few applications so uh, it has been widely used in human studies there are various stage li libraries that have been generated and they have got this information from various cells such as dendritic cells lung fibroblast cells oocytes thyroid tissue b cell lymphoma so it they have created a database to uh, for the scientists who are trying to work on these kind of cells so they can get this uh, information from this kind of sage libraries uh, the next application is uh, it has been used again to uh, in uh, for finding out the expression profile of a normal human thyroid tissue and uh, where it generated a collection of 10994 sequence tags and we can further use this technique to characterize novel genes sage technology has been widely used for cancer studies so it has been used for st uh, for studying gastrointestinal cancer lung and thyroid cancer breast and ovarian cancer neuroblastoma glioblastoma 
and to find out what are the pathways of these cancerous cells and based on this the researchers are trying to develop therapeutic targets or they are trying to come up with different kind of therapy methods uh, sage has also been used to analyze gene expression in the human brain so they are trying to find out the expression gene expression of a normal human brain and that of a brain which has some neurodegenerative disorder and they are trying to compare this and analyze it it has further been used to identify downstream targets of oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes it is also used to find out a p53 targets Uh, to identify colorectal lines and uh, apart from this uh, there is a modification of sage which is called as micro sage which is used to characterize the expression profiles in tissue biopsies uh, for uh, tumor metastasis or in other cases where tissue is scarce so we have learned about the cancer applications even apart from cancer studies there are applications such as uh, Sage is used to identify the expressed genes and to provide insights into the pathways due to this kind of uh, diseases. So it can all various applications of this uh, technology can be used to find out the pathways, disease pathways caused by malarial parasite, or uh, it can also be used to find out disease pathways in yeast, plant, and animal systems. this technique is also used to study various crops such as rice and maize and to understand the gene expression and to with the help of that information there are various ways that the scientists are looking out to improve the crop production the serial analysis of gene expression is also used to construct the gene expression profiles for microbial eukaryotic species it is not only restricted to cancer studies and animals but it is also used for finding out the expression profiles for the microbes uh, microorganisms which are eukaryotic so every technique has its own advantages and limitations so the advantages of sage technique are Uh, mrna sequence need not be known prior because you are finding out the sequence so genes of the variants which are not known can also be discovered accurate as it involves direct counting of number of transcripts it is really very efficient and it is also used to it is used for comparative studies to find out the differences in gene expression between a diseased cell and a normal cell a uh, sage enables large scale studies of dna expression too but coming to the limitations the length of the gene tag is extremely short that is 10 to 14 base pairs so if the tag is derived from an unknown gene it is difficult to analyze with such a short sequence so they are trying to overcome this limitation by uh, having many variations of sage such as micro sage long sage super sage rl sage mrna levels and protein expressions do not always correlate tags can also have issues with specificity so there are multiple genes which can have mul- the same sequence so uh, multiple genes can share the same tag and uh, it could lead to a lot of confusion in research so um um case study for this technique that i got was a sage database analysis of chemosensitivity so for cancer studies drug sensitivity and resistance has been extensively studied and uh, cell lines have also been used in testing new anti cancer agents so sage database was used to identify the differences in the gene expression between solid tumors and cell lines It was reported that cell lines are much more sensitive to chemotherapy than tumors, solid tumors. That is, so chemotherapy is one is um is an effective treatment for cancer, but for solid tumors, it is not really effective. And uh, the reason behind that, they were hoping to detect genes that could 
uh, explain the difference in drug sensitivity. So stage libraries were available for both solid tumors and cell lines from breast, colon, ovarian, pancreatic, and prostate carcinomas. And further, Sage database was also used to identify genetic differences between the tumor types. So the results that um, they got from the study are as follows. So compared with cell lines, solid tumors, they overexpress genes concerned with cell to cell communication. They overexpress genes that are involved in the immune response, but they underexpress genes which are involved in protein synthesis. Higher cell to cell interaction in solid tumors confer a poor five year survival, but a higher protein synthesis genes in cell lines are associated with better five year survival. So studies have demonstrated that it is the cell to cell communication that reduces the sensitivity to chemotherapy and cell to cell communication is over expressed in solid tumors. The analysis also suggests that solid tumors are inert or they are low in protein synthesis. It suggests that tumors are more intractable and they are much more chemotherapy resistant and inert as far as protein synthesis is concerned. A SAGE analysis has also provided a molecular window for uh, us to understand the difference between this drug sensitivity and drug resistance and it can also provide insight that could lead to the circumvention of this type of drug resistance. So it is basically due to the difference in gene expression that they could understand why these two cancers are they, are, they differ in their sensitivity to chemotherapy and they can also further develop med, uh, therapies which can overcome this. So coming to the summary for this uh, technique, uh, SAGE, serial analysis of gene expression is a transcriptomic technique which is used by molecular biologists to produce a snapshot or a clear picture of the messenger RNA, mRNA population in a sample of interest. So how we obtain this information is with the help of small tags that is of 10 to 14 base pairs that correspond to fragments of those transcripts. So it is efficient and can be used to study and compare the DNA expression in large scale. It is sometimes difficult to analyze with such a short sequence. So for that there are variants of SAGE such as microSAGE. RL sage, long sage, which can capture longer identification tags to enhance the identification. It is also uh, mainly used in cancer studies to analyze the gene expression and tumor tissues and uh, compare it with normal cell lines to develop therapy for cancer, which I've already described in the case study. Other than this, it is also used to analyze the gene expression in plants and in microbial eukaryotic species. So um, these are the references that I have used to make this PowerPoint presentation. And I hope all of you have enjoyed this PPT. Thank you for listening and watching.